Shall we begin? Let's begin now. I've been in a salon owner here in the solo six years. Hair industry, close to 20. Um, I got to DeSoto. My parents bought a home here in 96, the year I graduated high school. Graduated high school, went off to college. Where you uh, go to school? Langston University. All right. Langston, Oklahoma. So, got married, had babies, all that stuff. And um, so I moved out of the community, of course. Okay. But I found myself opening up my business mm -hmm. here in DeSoto. And my church home is here in DeSoto. So okay. my parents never left. So and now I'm back in DeSoto. What do you like about it? Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. I like DeSoto because now my people are here. Mm -hmm. And I love my people and I love to cater to our demographic. Mm -hmm. The street that we live on, mm -hmm. when we first moved to DeSoto, there were maybe four or five homes mm -hmm. on that street. Okay. <laughs> It's the neighborhood now. It's the neighborhood. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> but how it's, is it that new neighborhood is still legit? It's still good. It's still, still working good. for you. It's still working. It ain't yeah. downtriding because we got a whole bunch of black people. You know, the older you get, you realize it's not just our people. Mm-hmm. That, you know, mm -hmm. I know people who are in uh, different areas. Mm -hmm. time. You know, the thing back in the day was to move to the North Dallas. Mm -hmm. That was the thing everybody did. Mm -hmm. People got the things there as well. It's not platinum. It's pretty though. Oh my God. It just seems so bright. <laughs> what would you say we need to be doing in DeSoto for you? Like, what would you like to see? I would see, I would like to see more support of our, of our businesses, of our black businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, basically I said us to come together. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm get, actually supposed to be getting ready to network with a couple of hair salons around here or help out younger women. Mm -hmm. uh, teaching them about hair care, hygiene, mm -hmm. you know, the girls who need it. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get something like that for literally as we speak. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Balayage. In my earlier adult years, no. But I didn't really understand. Mm -hmm. I didn't respect the importance of it. Mm -hmm. But when you get older and you know things really start affecting you, then you start thinking about your children mm -hmm. and what they may have to be facing it. You think, oh, okay. So now you vote. I do vote. You vote presidential and local? Yes. yes. Presidential or yes. what you think? Mainly just presidential. I just really got into the local, to be honest. Okay, did I you did. vote for me? Yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, so tell I me. I like, I know that name. <laughs> but um, I, I would just see you. I saw, you know, just see you around or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm voting for her. Good stuff. So what can we do at the local level? So, like, what we get lost in is presidential, right? Because right. they have TV, they have ads. Local level, we don't have money like that. But we affect you more than they would ever affect you in exactly. D.C. But what should we be doing to let people, business owners, residents, to know about, hey, it's an election going on, you should be involved. <laughs> you have to draw us in. We don't, we're not too much looking at, you know, reading the paper and reading the ads and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. not so the yard signs, billboards, eh, you see them. Yeah. But they ain't that. moving you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Boys, that's the problem. <laughs> Girl, I'm boy crazy. I can talk about boys all day. <laughs> and, um, this is our first home we purchased. And I I mean, I love DeSoto for, it's right next to downtown Dallas. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, it's a community where you can tell they, they keep it up, they take care of it, the people care. Mm -hmm. And it is majority black, and I'm prideful in that. When you think majority black suburbs, they can be rough. Right. This ain't like that. And then when I got here, uh, the people were cool, but like I want my daughter to grow up in a place where it is, it's black and it's okay. And, <laughs> and it feel, ain't hood. And, and don't you feel like we as black people should get away from that mentality 
Look at the black folks moving. I'm finna move and then we migrate. Yeah. We need to get out. We need to get away from that mentality because Mine. that's that's uh, that's what a you know. I've yeah. been guilty of that. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it I think more, we were a, all it, raised yeah. like it's it, just too many, too it. many of us. Like that's not the reason why. It's a mindset. And they can exactly. have it with any skin color. I grew up in apartments my whole life. I lived in 14 different places. Wow. I moved every school year almost. Wow. Consistency was not a word I knew. So rent go up $60. That's a steel breaker. Um, so we moved a lot. So this is my first time I sat still in a house. And I enjoy my house. And I don't plan to move for a really long time. That's a blessing. And now, now that we had those options, I mean, and then DFW is in yeah. it on itself is a good man. I wish people knew that. Yeah, that's why I moved to St. Louis. You can do it. Like you can come here and you can do something. You can. You can change. You can make community. You can start over. You can start fresh, or you can like get into your lane and be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Right. And I don't think people know that. Exactly. But if you ain't been nowhere, you ain't had nothing. You wouldn't know the opportunity exactly. that you have here. I mean, if it's the solo, if it's DFW, anywhere, exactly. like this, yo, this yo shot, do it, do something with it, and then I meet you at the finish line. Oh, you gonna make me be active in the community, girl? <laughs> you making me, you making me care. <laughs> This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill.